I'm Terry, and I'm in the uh, process of testing an air pressure switch. We're using some national instruments equipment to control the test and also log the data. So let me take you over the setup. I think you'll find it interesting. The heart of our setup is this little proportional air controller. It takes a 0 10 volt ramp, which comes from our national instruments equipment, and generates a 0 to 100 psi output. Has an accompanying uh, pressure transducer that it reads and closed loops on that, so you get very precise control. All right, so uh, on this manifold, we have the pressure switch. Above it is a pressure transducer, which goes to this proportional air controller. The controller is being fed a 0 to 10 volts by a PXI chassis down here. And we're also uh, bringing in some signals to do some data logging. Got a power supply here. The right side is just the 24 volts for the um, proportional valve. The left side we have 12 volts that goes to the solenoid, which we're using as a load off the pressure switch. All right, and on the background, this is the National Instruments controls. The white line is the pressure building. It goes from zero to 100 PSI. The red line that you see is the uh, solenoid activating after the proper pressure is achieved. Also, when uh, the, the pressure is achieved, you'll see this amp meter down here to the left increase showing the current being pulled by the solenoid. There it goes. And at the same time, we're doing some data logging, and I have a graph here that I'll put in. You can see how well this uh, little pressure switch controls. Here's our uh, triangle wave being generated by the National Instrument software. Here's a live look at our pressure ramp and then the voltage below switching on.